Hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Entomologist. And this video we have butterflies to spread, bees to label, and skippers to put in a new drawer. Uh, it's gonna be a full one. All right, so before I get uh, butterflies out, I figured I'd show you just my little prep beforehand. So I have my boards and I just cut a strip of uh, tracing paper. These are the labels I have to do. So I have the tracing paper and then cut the strips. And then uh, end result is ob obviously that. I figure I just show you real quick and then I just uh, have pins here at the ends of it to hold them together and when I put the butterflies on flip a strip put the wings down and do all the manipula manipulation of the wings and all that fun stuff but uh, now let's uh, get some butterflies out alrighty so I am finished with the spreading of everything I had in, uh, in the relaxing chamber here. And I'm really excited to announce I just added two new butterfly species to the collection. So right here we have a small wood nymph. That is a species I know I don't have. And right here, we have a Queen Alexandra Sulphur. You see it completely lacks the uh, black outline like the Clouded Sulphur here does. Um, that usually happens in females of the Queen Alexandra's sulfur, I do believe at least. So that's really awesome. Um, so I got a couple fritillaries there, uh, a couple orange sulfurs, a red admiral, a skipper, a species of copper, uh, per, uh, Rocky Mountain Parnassian. Parnassius smyrinthius. Beautiful species. And uh, yet again, I'm really happy with how all of these turned out. Uh, they all cooperated with me quite nicely. Didn't have to play around with them too much. And the result is some good spread pinned butterflies. Uh, so I haven't decided when I'm going to do the sphinx moths yet. I have a couple other sphinx moths that I'm probably going to do at the same time with those ones because that'll probably need a little longer than the regular bodied specimens. Um, so I probably won't put anything in the chamber until Friday. That way I can do stuff over the weekend. Um, I'm gonna have to order some more uh, spreading boards. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go eat some supper. Then uh, I'll I might come back and do some labeling here in a little bit. All right, so I've been doing labeling and I'm happy to report that I am all done getting new labels on all my skippers. So I actually have this drawer full and that very top Cornell drawer right there. That's also full of skippers. So tomorrow is probably when I'm going to 
fill that box up. And I'm honestly not sure if I'll have enough room for all my strippers in just that box. I may only be able to put some of them in there. So I'm going to probably end up putting just a single subfamily in that one. Probably the Hesperiani. Hesperiani. Uh, one of the subfamilies, since that's the one I have most species of. But tonight is pretty much just labeling the rest here. Uh, these labels are for majority of the bees on here. Then get those on, get them in that box. And then these are ones I still have left to sort through. So I'll sort through these tonight when I'm done labeling, and then I'll get labels made for these ones. And, uh, yeah. So I'll probably uh, come back when I'm finished with all this and just show you guys what I did and everything. Alright, so as you can see, the non organized bots full of bees are now organized by location. And so, makes me Makes it a lot simpler for me when I do the labels. That's why now when I have the labels, they're done by location. So I just go down and whatever I do. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much my way of getting new labels on and my method of just labeling in general makes it so much uh, simpler you don't have to play around with the labels just do that group of labels and move on nice and simple of course now is the task of getting the labels onto them which I probably will not to do tonight. I'll probably start tomorrow. To some, if not all tomorrow, because I have to do the skippers as well. Um, so, yeah. I guess uh, that'll be it for this evening. So the next part is the labels and I'll come back when I start doing that. Well, I finally, finally finished relabeling all the green sweat bees. <clears throat> this obviously doesn't include the ones I caught this past season because they're still in the stuff waiting for their labels. But these are everything, or this is everything that I've caught before, and, or before this past season. And I also made labels for the stuff I have on the drawing boards, and some stuff I have from this past season that I'm going to start giving their labels. So as you can see... Got a good number. A green sweat bees. So what I'm going to do next with these is I'm actually going to take them to the uh, entomology museum at CSU. I'm um, going to use their microscope and separate them all to genus. Um, I'll probably, I'll do that in a different video. 
on there but the last thing on my agenda for this video is getting the skippers into their new drawer hopefully consolidate most of these still not sure how many I can fit I might have some that need another another drawer but I'll do that in this video and yeah so I think well I'll do that real quick finish that up and uh, show you what I got all right so voila oops as you can see I got a drawer filled up now this is uh, one subfamily of the skippers uh, Hesperiani or Hesperiani the grass skippers and this includes uh, genera like Poanes, Polites, Hesperia Just doing a quick once over of uh, the species I have in here. And uh, Hesperia is probably one of my favorite skipper genus. Just because of the markings on the underside of the hind wings there. And I only have a few species. There's, there's a, quite a bit more out there I do not have yet. So this is the finished one. And these are still all the skippers. As you can see I still have three species that belong in here. but. no room. Then all the other strippers here are in different subfamilies. So I was planning on having these in a different box anyway. But I'll just have to add those ones to that box as well. So I guess that means I need to get some more uh, drawers to get uh, these skippers in. But I really like the way it turned out. This is now my third Lepidoptera drawer that I completed. And I do light strippers. They're a pretty awesome family of butterflies. So yeah. I think that's going to be uh, it for this video. Uh, the next one, I think I'm going to start sorting through um, the uh, pitfall traps. So I'll have that in the next video. Uh, put some more stuff in the uh, relaxing chamber there. And next video will probably be back at the museum for the green bees stuff so I'll do that and probably go through another drawer or something awesome while I'm there so I think that'll be another cool video to see uh, so I hope you enjoyed this one comment like subscribe um, do you have a favorite stripper species that you like if you collect them um, tell me below I'll be interested and see what you guys what skippers you like you guys like uh so thanks for watching and uh keep on bugging